Somewhere like this. This place here on the right is a very nice masjid. Ah, got police! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So today is going to be my solo adventure day trips. Okay, so basically, I'm asking questions on my Instagram, and whatever you guys have answered, I will do. Good morning, guys. So today is my adventures with the expander all to myself. And it's going to be a road trip just like all of y'all suggested and it's going to be entirely up to you so the whole day I'll ask y'all questions and you will dictate my adventure. I am a bit scared because I don't know how this video will turn out. It might be exciting, it might be boring, I have no clue, I have no plan B. It's purely you guys dictate my entire day. So first y'all said to go for a road trip up north. So I'm heading up north and the question that I asked was uh, how many km should I go? But before that, I'm just going to go for a pit stop to grab my drinks and my snacks because I haven't had breakfast yet and breakfast is essential. So, yes. Um, I just want to take this time to dedicate this video to... Uh, to Laobu because... Um, we just got news that Laobu passed away yesterday. She was only 55 years old. She got COVID first and due to COVID there were some heart complications and she passed away from a heart attack. Now the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I have mentioned her on my channel, I featured her on my channel and she always gave out that vibe like, you know life is short, enjoy life and she's the one who bought the E93. We are here for one Zone. go to the maximum, <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> Like, you know that she passed away but she always um, preached that you know we should always enjoy life and as long as we do what we love and don't take things for granted so yes this video of enjoying life and you know living beyond your limits is dedicated to you Labu. <laughs> I always believe that you know um, someone's passing we should always we should always uh, celebrate we should always celebrate their life instead of yes of course we are sad but we should celebrate everything that they stood for and Laobo always stood for you know go for adventure live your life life is short so we're doing that today with the expander okay okay guys let's go let's go Woo. Okay, we're at the Sungai Bulu rest stop so I asked 50km 100km or 150km or 200km and I'm damn sure that my followers <laughs> should say 200 or see Confirm 200 nasib I didn't put like 1000 km If not I just go long Malaysia myself <laughs> Okay at least I have like a bit of time constraint If not I would definitely go So okay 200 km So let me check Wah banyak ni 200 km Shock je <laughs> So according to the maps 200 km from where I'm currently at Will be either Setiawan or Kuala Kangsa Like plus minus around 200 km lah huh? I don't want to go to the places that I usually go, so I don't want to go to Ipoh, um, <laughs> Penang, that's about it. <laughs> Anywhere else, I'm game. I uh, can't really go to the east because the east is like super far and I would need like a two days one night. I definitely want to do that one day. Uh, so yeah, currently it's between Setiawan or Kuala Kangsa. It's neck to neck, it's like 50-50 Kuala Kangsa and Setiawan. So I'm just gonna wait it out a bit. Enjoy my breakfast first. Okay, so we just refueled. We are headed off to Kuala Kangsa. It has been so neck to neck, but yeah, Kuala Kangsa won. I low key wanted Setia one to win because there's a beach there, but it's okay. Adventures, right? Adventures. So yeah, let's go to Kuala Kangsa. Before the cool down run out, I'll be giving it my best to tell all these new little girls. And I need you. facing a jam kind of stand still I just realized we have to pass by Ipoh to go to Kuala Kangsa so I actually asked you guys uh, whether I should stop by Ipoh to makan sambil melawat my mom because my mom actually stays in Ipoh and I actually miss her a lot and we don't see each other very often so yeah I hope you guys say that I should stop by Ipoh to visit my mom before I head to Kuala Kangsa I hope no, it's okay too because you guys dictate my day okay a little bit about the car actually i love the expander like, i've been driving it for 
close to a week now it's damn fuel efficient even though the car is fully loaded right it's damn fuel efficient on highway it's damn fuel efficient I, I went to top up just now so like one full tank I have oh I have 480 km to go and I already traveled about 100 km that damn good the, 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 the music system is good I mean it's enough for me lah you know it's not like wow damn nice but it is enough it's enough I think the NUH is good it's not completely silent but it's not super noisy also so I gotta say I love it wind noise also is quite minimal very good and so comfortable and aircon is good oh, so nice so nice okay thanks to you guys I'm heading to Ipoh I'm like one minute away so I started at Sungai Buloh R&R and then now I'm in Ipoh 183.3 kilometers. I started on a full tank and I have 410 kilometers to go Whew. I tell you, in a time like this with all the fuel prices going up I'm so happy to be driving such a fuel efficient car yeah. Let's go! What? What? Don't, don't do this Put it nicely so that you can see all the view. Wow. <laughs> for some reason, mother always has food. For some reason. Say hello. Oh, oh. On me. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is so better. Can lah. I think it's so good because I just washed my hair. Can, whole lang, whole lang. I didn't see, you cannot see. Can, can, I can see. Very nice. Is it? Yes. Any words of wisdom, mum, for your for your for your eighteen years of life so far? <laughs> eighteen years. <laughs> I I really don't know. Uh, I guess it's just be happy and be able to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like your goals from here have shrunken so much as you age? <laughs> no, my goals have been accomplished. Oh, I've got God. a lovely daughter. Uh, I didn't pay her to <laughs> say that. I promise you. <laughs> so I'm done. I'm satisfied. And then your other two kids, I don't care lah, <laughs> right? Whatever lah, this one enough. Uh, I, I'm in front of this daughter, so... <laughs> Very political, this one. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Welcome. The price point also won't make you go... Oh. Yeah. It'll make you go, oh, no man, no gosh. What? 180? No. More or less? Less. 150? Less. 140? Less. 110? Less. Yeah. Ah, see? Oh, <laughs> okay, wait, how many cc? 1.5. Oh, okay. But so, would it be underweight if. Uh, underpowered? No? Underpowered? I mean, two. We you... tried, so I tried with seven, with six people. Ah. Okay. Hmm. It's about 92,000. I thought it's. Because it's a seven sister. You're supposed to go. Oh, no, 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 Okay, okay, come, do it again. <laughs> it's 92,000. Oh, no, 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 Wow. <laughs> okay, you better be on your way. Okay, I'll see you soon, mother. Yeah, I'll see you.
So obviously, while people were taking photos on the bridge, I was looking for a place to park the car and take a photo. And ta da! I find some places quite nice. On to the next place. Now we're headed to an Istana, where it's near the masjid. Let's see. The Sungai Pira, crossing the bridge into Kuala Kangsa, according to the signboards. So, this is Kuala Kangsa town. The roundabout with a clock. This is the situation. So, got a lot of oncoming cars. I'm gonna try and guys, slowly, slowly. Okay. No, no, didn't work. Where's my kale skills? It's gone in a nice town like this. So I turn left and then okay second one okay okay I got this I can do this oh it's close oh so nice it's an old building see see quite nice huh uncle wet huh uncle where am I I guess it's a hotel Kas Kas Kasuriana Kuala Kangsar oh I see mountains there but very very foggy but I guess heavy heavy rain what really good wow big land big land. Actually, the architecture Actually, actually, actually The architecture around here is quite nice uh, I think I see the palace It's a closed um, Can I even go in there? I see a jalan masuk I'm just gonna go We're at the istana guys They built like all these trees Big big trees Okay, so this place here on the right is a very nice masjid. Ah, got police! <laughs> okay, okay, so I was saying this masjid apparently very nice also. So yeah, you can go see if you can go if you want. But right now, I'm going to find places to go. For example, like where to eat and all that stuff. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a 430. So. I'm headed towards this place called The Gate Cafe. Um, I can't really try a lot of outdoorsy stuff because it's raining, so yeah. Ooh, Tino! Small town ah. thing is- Ah, oh, I found it! I found it! I found it! I think with small town, you can still find parking one. And obviously, I spoke too soon because- ah, Okay, <laughs> more parking. Talk more lah, I think. Talk more. No parking. Really no more parking. So like traveling out of KL is just so nice because everything here is so different like everything is smaller, the shops are smaller and it feels like I went back in time where everyone is still doing their own businesses there are not many um, big chains around I think I only saw like Watson's, Family Mart, Mr. DIY It's a very different feeling and I think like people f like us who are always in the city should get out more and travel Malaysia more to understand that hey, there's so much more to Malaysia than just um, KL. Even though yeah, it's it's you know the the, the the tourist attraction and whatnot. Throughout this drive, I was just thinking like yeah, I, I understand you know the whole convoy going in a few cars, but I also understand this whole MPV thing, where if you have a bunch of friends, wouldn't you want to drive together in one car? You know you. you Play games in the car. How sound sounds No, as in like you know, you talk in the car. You just spend more time together in the car. No doubt you can still do that, convoy and then walking. But I guess it's all just different experiences. And I think it'd be pretty cool to all go into like an MPV or an SUV and then just travel around together. I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, just 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 reflecting a bit. Okay, last copet before um I hit home. Because home is like 3 hours, 3-4 three, hours away I'm going to go to this place called Arena Square um, It's recommended by one of the locals I'm just gonna go try that And then uh, back home we go Okay guys, so we are at Arena Square Apparently got a lot of things here And it's by the riverside So you can walk if the weather is good Apparently you can shop here, can makan here I feel like a tour guide Ooh, got opening, okay, I'm gonna shop Lock, lock so I'm at this shop where apparently their chapati is damn good 
for you guys was what else you want me to do and you all have very 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 high expectations of me <laughs> which I am grateful for it means you expect me to deliver good stuff good stuff so next time I'll be more prepared so some of you actually say like oh go east coast la camp in the car la go Penang la now the reason why I didn't want to go Penang is like so many people go Penang already we all know so much about Penang already but what about all these other smaller towns, you know? There's, I, I feel like there's so much hidden beauty in Malaysia that it's not highlighted enough. So I wanted to go to smaller towns to maybe highlight some of the things that um, Malaysians in general don't know of. The majority or I'm quite sure some do, but not many lah, you know? That's number one. Uh, number two, camping in the car. One of you say camping in the car to try to space, oh, I'm telling you, the expander got ample amount of space and uh, try and test that video uploaded the other one was, oh, push on to East Coast now I'm sorry, I only have one day to do this next time for sure, when I can but for now, hope you guys enjoyed the video and my day trip to Palakangsa and hope y'all enjoyed our little game on Instagram looking forward to doing more of these type of videos with you let me know if y'all enjoyed it or not Stay safe, take care, and uh, be kind. Bye! It takes so much focus and energy to drive at night when it's dark and it's raining and there are no street lights and there's oncoming traffic with lights. Wow! Now it is 7.42 and I should be reaching home in about an hour. Back! in KL like five minutes from home in one tank of petrol and a kid yep one full tank to Kuala Kangsa and back <laughs>